Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I just got done talking about this before the show went live here on Monday, February 8th, 2016. My food didn't get here. I don't know why I decided to say it off the show and then say it again on the show. My delivery driver didn't deliver the food. But he said that he did. So I complained. And then they were like, alright, well it's on its way. So I'm trying to track my order status. Let me F5 this. My dasher is on the way. The service I use is called DoorDash. The service is sick. And I pretty much never have any problems, except for the one day when I just decided that I really needed this food, and now that I don't have it, I am going to throw a tantrum. Let's play Hearthstone. We're not doing mostly walking today because Bill is in India. I don't know why. And it actually, more so than not knowing why Bill is in India, I don't know why that I didn't ask Bill that he was in India. Uh, I said, hey, show next week? And he was like, I'll be in India. And I was like, got it. And I had no follow-up questions. I wasn't curious in the slightest why Bill would possibly be in India. And that's actually a really interesting question. Um, but he's he's there. So here's the thing. Here's the deck that we're running. We're going to run Zoo because I kind of want to hit Legend this month. It's going to be very hard because tomorrow and on Wednesday I'm going to be streaming Overwatch, a little Oversnatch, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm talking about? Mm. So I'm going to be doing that, and of course I'll be trying to finish The Witness on Friday, and then doing something else after that. But this is the deck that I kind of want to be working on. Amazingly, um, there is uh, Mr. Gormok the Impaler is a card that I want in this deck. It's particularly sick with Bran Bronze Beard to be able to rock out the Impaler and really wreck shit. Um, the typical construction is not to have this, but to have a Sea Giant. And then when you want to work in Bran Bronze Beard and um, Gormok, you cut the Sea Giant, you cut the Void Terror, and you put those two things in. But because um, I don't have Gormok, this is this is the build that I'm going to be running. It's pretty much. A zoo deck. Now, I don't remember what rank I am at all. I guess I'm rank 60. Because I tried to do my frosty burst lock. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Baby cat. I wonder if I'll ever get my food. I wonder if my sushi's just gone. Or well, did sushi. I love sushi. What rank we were at? 16? We have not been playing very much at all. So I feel like I actually want to chuck these all back. I want to pitch these. Cranky Pants just subbed. Might be me that just subbed, because I am in fact Mr. Cranky Pants. Oh my god. Cat Bert says Day 9. Here's some great news. Lady Cat Bert and I are making a day night. It should take another six months. Congratulations, Cat Bert! Oh my god, on your upcoming little night. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so sick. Oh my god, there's gonna be a mini Bert. Oh, a mini Bert. Oh, that's so awesome. And of course, Funkistador and Cranky Pants, welcome. But of course, Cat Bert, I gotta give you the little Winkeroni. Winkeroni, Linkeroni. Where is my food, Aroni? Your Dasher Jeff is on his way. Son of a bitch. Oh man, 2020 says, not to frustrate you further, what kind of sushi did you order? I gotta be honest, I, I just ordered a good old plain as day. Philadelphia roll. Which is salmon and cream cheese and avocado. Very simple, very straightforward. It's kind of a basic thing. Claw! The claw! Here, here's the thing. He's already blown a lot of cards to just have this board presence. So I'm actually very satisfied with this. Uh, do I wanna... So if I run this out, he'll almost certainly trade. And that's okay. That's actually okay. That's actually okay. Oh my god, oh my god, this outcome is so sick. I should have actually hit this one first, I think. 
because you know I'm always going to get there. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, mm, mm, mm. I estimate that he'll probably try to clear instead of to hit me in the face. 89 Puppy says, Om Sean, you're going to get me into MTG with your spell slingers. Oh my god, fuck, that's really bad. This sucks. Um, well, I want to let you know that I hope you're in the mood for colorless Eldrazi. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else watch uh, Pro Tour? The inimitable Frank Lepore made top eight. And that guy is sick. He rocks that brown coat. Mm. Um, but there was a concern because the, the top decks were Another just like super on colorless. Another night on the prowl. Oh my god, savagery. What is this guy, me? I don't actually know if I want to hit. And there it is. Oh, yes. Funky Sador says, today I was working out in mid-workout. I heard, turn me on, and I had to drop my weights because I couldn't stop laughing. Well, anytime you're doing an arm workout, you may as well be Take doing an ab workout. You know what I'm saying? Side. Take a walk on the wild side, baby. Hello. Yeah, hi. Okay, well that's great. Well, I'll see him soon. Wonderful, thank you so much. Cheers. It's time to get some motherfucking sushi. It's coming soon, there was a mix up. Victor's gonna be getting me the sushi this time. Thrilled to hear that Victor is going to be there. Mm-mm-mm. Snakes. It has to be snakes. We might die, but of course... A natural mistake. I never had a doubt in my mind that I was all about YOLO. Done. How life tap do you want to be? Hands up in the air. Good ol' Victor. Good ol' Victor. Hold well, on, let me investigate something. Real fast. Real fast, I'm gonna check my little phone status thing here. Well played. He just drew Force Nature Savage Roar. Well played. Well, he well played me twice. Oh, no, he just well kills me. Played. I miscounted that. Um, should be getting there. Just want to take some time. Well played. I think he thinks that he got me, and he's actually right in this case. Well played. And he got me. There it is. Well played. I just miscounted on the phone, so so easy. So then soon, in the upcoming break, it shall be sushi time. Mm. He's gonna do it! He did it. Let's give him a well played. Oh. <laughs> My crater has lost its ability to speak. Oddworld games? 
I never did. Gul'dan versus I actually Al never did. I must protect the world. Your soul shall be mine. Toss these puppies back. I really like laddering with Zoo. It's just so damn solid. Mm -mm -mm. See Zossie. See Zossie's. Oh, speaking my language. Anything with salmon is so good. I think one of my favorite foods is actually a bagel with salmon and cream cheese. Got two dresses. I missed the intro. How does Zoo Locks work? It's basically like a zoo deck, which is a whole lot of small nerds. And then you combine the small nerds with some demons. That's it. That's how it's done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this so I can. Oh, oh my God! So we have a number of options where we can defender and we can void terror power overwhelming. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that locks bagel. To do. I really love locks bagel. It's so great. I think this is a reasonable time to do this. Now I'll be doing this to ensure that I have the opportunity to steal like this and to kill. Because I feel like my my goal when I am up against a druid is to just keep the board as clear as possible. What class are you most excited for with the introduction of standards? I, um, I don't really have a particularly strong opinion one way or the other. Um, uh, I think I actually like this play, My even though that's. I just want to keep him clear and keep some nerds on the board because I can always. I have a lot of triggers for this Nerubian egg. Yeah, I'm actually curious for the Magic the Gathering players there about what you think will occur with the huge surge in Eldrazi. I see you. Alright, well, I'm gonna do this, of course. That's the right one to do. I'm gonna go ahead and run this puppy out. Like that. The breach. He's gonna have to hit there, and we can clear it, and then we can like power overwhelming this little Eggerino. The Eldrazi thing, it God just interests the shit out of me. No! No! Oh my God, GG! Now you might ask the question, how lucky am I? Because you've never seen the show. And the answer is lucky enough on some days. But not today, because today's a big pile of ass. It's alright. We're zoo. It's no problem. Krona says, I think it will be a top tier deck, but it won't be as powerful as the Pro Tour made it out to be. It was a somewhat surprised that if something ends up needing to be banned, it'll be I. Of, I don't know how to pronounce that. Whether it's Ugin or Eugen, I have no idea. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. I declare an implosion. War! Uh, he actually could just have the host of nature, Savage Roar. We were dead even with the taunt, so I just threw out my other haunted creeper. Would I eat a sushi burrito? Yeah, there's a place called Sushi Burrito in the bay. Alright. Standard. He's no golden. Oh, it's Eugene. <laughs> it's Eugene, yeah. Yeah, they banned Eye of Eugene. <laughs> Dude, can I say, I was really surprised that the Wizards of the Coast was just like, shing! Get out of here, Splinter Twin. 
Oh my god. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. I am your nightmare. Where is this thing? Splinter Twin. Boom. And I was, of course, deeply... There we go. Pasted it in there. Super interesting article. So this is... This is great. This particular plate is so sick. Did you say a sushi burrito? Yeah, it's called sushi burrito. So sick. Uh, I think I'm going to first run this one out. And then I'll run this, and then I'll run this out. I'll really fuck him up there. It'll be sick. Okay, looks like we got ourselves a watcher. Interesting. I think I'll just go ahead and kill this one off right now. Um, I actually think that this is the right play. I'm gonna do this. And I'm actually gonna clear this, because this says to me he's handlock. And handlock would run that out against an aggressive deck to try to slow it down. But of course we all know that I'm not about that bullshit. So then we're going to get to Dark Peddler and play a creature as well, which will then let us the subsequent turn right out of uh, a Kneef Juggler. This is perfect. Somehow I thought that I would have six minions then. Damn. have a lot of cards, which is sometimes concerning for a handlock, because handlock's always looking to do some sort of, like, big momentous play. Like, I'm going to run out a whole fucking... Really? I'm gonna try to run out a shitload of, um... Not a shitload. I'm gonna try to run out a huge nerd like a Twilight Drake or a Mountain Giant. Or I am going to try to. Ooh, he's getting close to this. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna try to get a really huge play, a huge kill with a Hellfire or some such thing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got him. Get in there, fight, Do you enjoy Zoo the most, then, in your quest to Legend? I think Zoo is really effective. Because, for instance, we played three games, and it's 725, and I started a little late, and I was distracted telling stories. It's been 18 minutes in three games. Two of them quickly lost to Druids, and then we crushed it here, right? That, it, it, it's, it's, it's a computation, right? Where, if I want to hit Legend, I have to, um... Your soul shall be mine! Let's see here. So... I think what I... I don't actually know how to value cards and mulligan very well. I think I throw back Implosion. But I think that's it, right? Yeah, so I think Zoo is fun to play, but I'm trying to go for the optimization of, like, what is the highest win rate per minute that I can... Or excuse me, the highest number of wins per minute that I can achieve with a deck. I don't have the experience with Zoo that I do with a weird deck like Echo Control or Shadow Priest. I have extensive experience with Shadow Priest. I know so much about Shadow Priest. Almost all 300 wins I have with Priest are Shadow Priest. Why I think it's prudent to do this. Because. Uh, I, I had a lot of options. I could run out the Nerubian Egg to try to pop it. I could try to coin out a Dark Peddler. But I want to do this because if, for instance, he has some sort of X3, like a whelp that he peels off the top or whatever. Definitely this. As you command. So now I have a really nice turn where I can Nerubian Egg and Abusive Sergeant, and then Power Overwhelming and Void Terror. Death does not scare me.
This changes a few things. Zekilon says, Sean, I miss your, your, miss your Shadow Priest Dex would rather watch that than Zoo. I would rather play that than Zoo, but I'm going to be honest, I just want to hit Legend. What's the victory? Is ETA should be during the break. Well, isn't that a telling play? I'm going to be very careful with this turn. Um, I'm content to run this out. Why would he do that? I'm gonna do this. This this is a very suspicious move to use Shadow Word Pain on the Nerubian Egg. No mostly walking this week. Bill's in India, and I don't know why, but I know that he's there. He could be in Indiana, and maybe I've just lied to you. That's, that could be what's going on, but I can't say for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill with the things. Hmm, what should I kill with? I'm gonna kill with things that are probably heading out. You'll see that I'm being really, really careful because I anticipate that he will light bomb. And then I have three damage here. And then I have another eight damage here, so that's eleven. And I have a knife juggler. Hmm. Light bomb. So he could also have a light bomb here, which, though that would suck, that's okay. He's at 13 health, and I have this huge amount of burst with the power of warnings. Plus, I can absorb that into the terror, but I'm not as excited about that against a priest dude. Excavated Ingram. <laughs> Which I'm kind of okay with, because that eats up most of his mana. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. That's it, right? Got him. I was really happy with that play. Well, I'm gonna take a little mini, itty bitty, tiny, teensy break. We're gonna see if Victor's in town. We just got back to 16. It's time to ladder it on up. I'll be right back. We're on a break. <laughs> 